Igbo We are back again, Shale. Igbo Kwenu. Indigo Kwenu. Nigeria Kwenu. Ghana Kwenu. Welcome to the New Year Festival Celebration 2024 that took place in Accra, Ghana, celebrated by the Indigos living in Ghana. The New Year Festival is a vibrant celebration that showcases the rich culture and traditions of the Igbo people, particularly in Nigeria. It's a time to give thanks for successful harvest season and to enjoy traditional dances, music, feasting because what is a Nigerian party without food is a beautiful display of community, unity and cultural pride. This festival is not just about yam, it's very big on building community spirit wherever they live. And one thing about the Igbos is they're always going to take their culture with them and celebrate their culture wherever they live. So this festival not only takes place in Nigeria, it takes place in every country in the world that you have Igbos living in. Wherever Igbos are residing in, they will always celebrate as their counterparts are celebrating in Nigeria. And this is my first year attending, it was such an amazing event, it saw the likes of kings and shapes from different places in Nigeria, the Uni of Ife, then kings and kings from Ghana also, chiefs, everyone was present, represented, there were different tribes here, basically represented, then the chief imam of uh, Ghana also was present, it was such an eventful, eventful day, it was so colorful, it was big a community spirit, it was such an amazing time, and I hope you enjoy it, before we get on with the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and let's go celebrate the Igbos, in the Igbo Kwenu! the Nigerian and Ghana, not only the people. What a sense of all, thank the people of Ghana for the opportunity given us to celebrate Yam Festival in Ghana. We also extend our greetings to the good people of Igbo and the good people of Nigeria at large. That we are happy here. So if they are not happy in Nigeria, that means there is a problem. So that means they should solve it. Nigeria deserves to be happy anywhere in the world. We are celebrating Gan uh, uh, Yam Festival. No, no, no. We are back again, Charlie. Hi, guys, welcome back. Today, we are at the FR Sunderland Park for the Igbo's New Year Festival. This is a yearly event that takes place every year all around the world in different countries in Nigeria. And this is the Ghana version. This happens every year. Last year, I was in Nigeria, so I could not attend the one head in Ghana. But this year, I'm in Ghana, so I'm going to attend the one in Ghana. I also get to take you along. It's a vibrant celebration of the Igbo cultures and tradition. Yeah, and just look at it as like a cultural exchange also where you get to see some Nigerian culture and they also in turn get to see some of your culture so this is celebrated by the Igbo's community in Ghana I'm really excited to attend this year as someone who is always mistaken to be an Igbo girl I'm not an Igbo girl I'm a Delta girl basically and this will go precisely I'm really excited to come experience their culture see their tradition and just see how the one in Ghana is done compared to the one celebrated in Nigeria in USA, Canada, everywhere Igbo's living basically. And you know one thing with Africans is wherever we are living in, in like you know a large quantity, we're going to take our culture in the way they celebrate every culture everywhere around the world also. So yeah, I'm really excited to take you along. Are you ready for this journey? I'm super giddy. I got to see a lot of Nigerians today also, which is something I don't see much in Ghana, maybe because of where I live in Accra, Ghana. But yeah, I'm excited. Before we get on with the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's go! Take it, 
fuck why not? <laughs> oh my goodness, hi guys. Um, welcome back to the channel, welcome this to the channel. This is the time for the Yearly Festival in Accra, Ghana. It's a yearly Our festival to start organized by the Igbos in Ghana. The Igbos are part of Nigeria. They are from the start. Do not hesitate to come. Oh, Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> I'm a South South babe, but the Igbos they have been like a, a child that I identify with a lot. A lot of people actually think I'm Igbo, but I'm not. But I, I'm here at the New Year's Festival. It's my first time attending, and I'm super excited to be attending this. <laughs> There are people from this hour for flight. The Ghanaians are represented, the Igbos are represented, the Yorubas are represented, the Northern Nigeria are represented. Only of Ife is here. There are lots of dignitaries here. Kabe and Siki, Queens, and all of those things. It's amazing. If you're here, you're watching, you've not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe, like this video. Also, liking is very important. It's a way of telling YouTube community you like content like this. Just so when I will put the new content, you won't miss out on it. And also, YouTube can in turn recommend it for people that like content like this also. So don't forget to like the video, liking is important. Share also, share with your friends and the family. And come, let me go show you something new today. Let's go experience something new today. You see this masquerade here? They haunt my childhood. That is staple for every celebration, for most celebrations in the southern and southeast, south, south, and southeast of Nigeria. Basically, mostly every uh, December we're having like Christmas celebration. They come, they dance on the street, they chase children. But it's more in the uh, southern east of Nigeria, which is the Igbo communities, basically. So of course we're going to see masquerade coming in. I'm like, oh, they're masquerade. They brings back so amazing and traumatic childhood memories also if your child that grew up anywhere in the eastern nigeria or southern nigeria you know about the masquerade and i was really really like surprised to see how big the event is like when i was coming i was thinking oh it might just be like a small event getting here there are a lot of people here the ashantis that are represented different tribes in ghana the girls are here the uh, Votarians as the airways that kings and chiefs representing almost every tribe in Nigeria also here. A lot of persons actually came from Nigeria for this event. Some came from the United States, some came from the United Kingdom just to attend and there were a lot of Nigerian politicians also, Nigerian Igbo politicians. Uh, present this day on your face yeah i keep saying only of event because i'm really excited when i see like rich tapestry of tradition in my eyes this i'm really excited to like experience that so come let me take you along let me show you everything happening here let's see all of the canopies all the communities or different communities represented in every canopy is signified that's something we do in nigeria <laughs> they do family this is this family cannot be you see the name printed but yeah the the ebos from different states in nigeria and different communities they have different segments so come let me take you and then we go to the beginning also and we go to the main stage and you see the dignities present today are you excited let's go The famous Isiago and Red Cap. If you watch Nigeria movies, you know that it's very similar. Uh, it's a traditional Igbo attire, and then this one is for like uh, the falling cap. Anyway, I don't know much about it. <laughs> Let me not tell you what my end up being like. But this is like the main stage. This is where the leader of the Igbo community in Ghana is, and there are different chiefs, kings from different places. Also, the chief imam of Ghana hasn't come yet but he's coming later on you're going to see all of that but i really love seeing the different varieties of isiago in display and this famous uh, cap that falls basically a lot of ships and titles when they wear it in nigeria the red cap also the red cap has different variations there is one for like titled ships where they put like a feather so throughout the video you're going to be seeing a lot of that in play but this is the uh, this is some of the dignities present today more are still coming because we just get in one thing about the Igbo communities are going to dance <laughs> Thank you. 
And was worried because if you grow up around masquerade or you've seen them basically as a child that grew up in the eastern or southern Nigeria, your first first reaction to seeing the masquerade is to run because if you don't run, these people catch you, they will basically mess you up, right? <laughs> so I was telling her, but they won't chase us here because it's like an event and they won't start chasing adults. They were scared already from our childhood, but it's really fun. These are the Yorubas. These are Yorubas traditional. Uh, I don't know if they are common square because I don't really know much about the Yorubas. But are, all these attires you are seeing there, the white attires, the Ashley, is it Ashuke? <laughs> oh my goodness, I should learn more about this people basically. But those are the Yorubas and they were back to some of the Igbos. It's the Nigerian and like, Ghana. Uh, okay. Not only the Igbo. This is the Igbo. Because they have shown us our tradition, our cultures. May Allah continue to protect our nation. You can see he is the only person that has a unique mind to bring Nigeria and Ghana in one place. And I believe he is maintaining the peace between the two countries. And again, uh, uh, the king has already told the Ghana to be a tourist. If you look at people coming from the different country, coming to Ghana to witness the this August event, may Allah continue to protect you. May Allah continue to guide you. Thank you very much.
The chief imam of the Muslim community in Ghana is here. So the the titled men that basically welcoming him, leading him to the main stay. This uh, this is the day I find out that there is like a chief imam of the Muslim community in Ghana. I was really surprised. And he's old, he's so old, but he's still so active. <laughs> Oh, mm. It's more than 100 years. Hey. Wow. Because as I went, he was 100 years. He celebrated it in our church. Imam came to church. Right? Yes. Hey. He clocked 100 years. And that was like almost three years ago or four years ago. Wow. So I'm sure he's 100 and four now. Look at that. Supporting. <laughs> Basically, one thing I have discovered here is that a lot of the Igbos uh, here, they, they came from like Kumasi. So there, I think there are lots of Igbos in Kumasi. And when they say there are a lot of Nigerians in Ghana, usually the Igbos, anywhere you go to, there is a saying in Nigeria that if you go to any country or any community and you don't find Igbos there, pack your load and leave. Because it means things are not good in that community, things are not prosperous in that community. It means you just basically will not make it in that community. So anywhere you go, so basically look for Igbos. If there are no Igbos there doing business or doing anything, there are Igbos basically living there because the Igbos that are uh, very big on community building, they do a lot of businesses, they contribute a lot to community. If only my place in Nigeria, there are a lot of Igbos there that do business. It's like every community you go to in Nigeria, you see Igbos. Even the North Nigeria, as you see Igbo, everywhere you go to. So if you go to any community or any country in the world and there are no Igbos there, don't don't even waste your time because you will not make it there. <laughs> that is very popular saying in in Nigeria. But yeah, there are a lot of Igbos here from the Ashanti region of Ghana. Like I said in the beginning of the video, there are a lot of politicians here, Nigerian politicians, meaning the Igbos politicians basically coming here basically to celebrate with the Igbos living in Ghana. This is like the escort of one uh, member of House of Rep, House of Representatives in Nigeria, Honorable Kenga. He's a young Honorable, <laughs> basically. So he came in with his own group of um, people that they call them Mogini dancers. Abiogini band, they play the, the local traditional Igbo tunes and then they have dancers, they will be dancing. When Flavor, if you know Flavor said during his year level, he was talking about the Igbos. You know Flavor is Igbo. See, the Igbos young and old, millionaires and billionaires, the, when, you th when you talk about Odogus, Odogus are the Igbos basically. They are like silent billionaires everywhere. And when they go to occasions like this, this is how they do. They, they sing their praises, they, 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 they go with their old band, they march in, they are wanting to usher him to the main stage because it's turn by turn basically. And the people that came with him, the escort are basically yeah, just playing, dancing, he's dancing. Let me go try and turn around just so I can show you Honorable King, a very fine man, I must say. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming and we will pray that the good Lord will continue to give the resident people good health so that we will continue to have this festival on an annual basis. So I thank everybody for coming and we will pray that as we live in the good home of St. Paul, God bless you all. Thank you. 
That is him, Honorable Inkenga, the one dancing look that just looked up with the red cap and not this man. Behind him, the red is Yagu, touching his ear, that's Honorable Inkenga. He's a member of House of Representatives, represented a community, a constituent in Ibmo State. I don't know the name of his uh, whatever, but if you are from Imo State, probably you know him. I think his name is uh, Honorable Iken Imo Ikenga. I don't know the full name, but yeah, the politician. And finally, they've uh, called for him now, so they're ushering him to his seat. The dancers will go with him to the seat, and then they will come back. <laughs> Said the Guinea community are here fully represented. I think the people that carry this umbrella and dress like this, they are their shanties basically. It's not now something you see it on the canopy front basically, but they, they're here showcasing their tradition also. Their ships also here. Salutations, Mama here. Ka, Aku Sam. Hello, what's it? Hello, what's it? She is a queen. I think she's a queen. Those are that's how the Igbos king queens the dress, or she's a titled woman, basically. And this is a, like a titled man with his family also. So that's the Lolo and the children. They call the wives Lolo. These like I I think they are like titled men. I don't really know 
the different categories of title members. I know you see I go and red cap with actually with the ones that have that feather on it. Are you seeing the man with the feather? They are for titled men. Titled men meaning they they, they have shifted same titles, so they're called shifts. The Iri G Festival. Iri G basically means New Year eating. <laughs> I'm not evil, so don't come for me with my pronunciation. But it's a festival that's practiced basically in Nigeria and it's been done in Ghana also and other African countries or basically any country where Igbo is living. It symbolizes the conclusion of a of a harvest season and the beginning of a new work cycle. That's like when they farm yam, when they harvest yam is when they celebrate this festival so they have like harvest system where they harvest the yams and then they, they start like a new uh, season where new yams are being uh, planted basically so it's essentially like a, a community spirit of oh we have like a successful yam planting season bring the yams together they will now roast the yam they eat it with palm oil, they share it with different people, then they bless the land and declare the new farming season open. That's as much as I know about tradition, basically. I think you you learn more about that from every Igbo girl, someone that's Igbo. Yams are among the first set of crops to be planted at the beginning of planting season. When you like go to like a typical Igbo village during the, the New Year festival, because every little village basically celebrates this festival in the uh, Igbo communities or Igbo side of Nigeria basically usually at the beginning of the festival the yams are offered to the girls and ancestors first before distributing them to the villagers that's the old yams are bring together they they roast everything the whole villagers are going to like eat like in a communal setting right but the the first ritual or basically thanksgiving or blessing the ancestors presented it is basically uh, performed by either the oldest man in the community or by the king if they have a king or the uh, biggest title holder because there's some little villages that don't have kings but they have like big title holders that are under other communities also so the biggest title holder the man uh, offers the yams to the gods or deities or ancestors as you may say by showing gratitude for protection kindness and leading them from limp periods to the time of bountiful harvest without death resulting from hunger after the prayer of thanksgiving to whichever god basically they eat the first yam because they believe that their position bestowed them the privilege to eat first before the other persons they eat basically and then they they they, they act like time there is between a community people and deities i don't know how i really don't know i'm just trying my very best to explain it to you very well but anyway this is uh, another uh, community i think these are the areas represented uh, in ghana <laughs> they're here the vehicle that just came in i think uh, this has like one big i don't know if it's ever or shanty but that woman is nigerian she has just been granted like a title like i said title holders are hold in high esteem so i think her Ghanaian counterpart are basically escorting her i don't know whether she's married to a Ghanaian, but i know the rest people following her they're Ghanaian, so i think they are areas or shanties i don't know That we are celebrating the mercy of God will descend upon all of us. You go to any Nigerian party, even if it's a wedding, barrier, festival, anything, there is no commotion going on. Like these two people trying to blow their head off, you're not there. They usually drinks, food. Different minor things that just bring them in like this. And that's how you know it's a big celebration. But I don't know what happened between them. They're just trying to blow themselves up. But anyway.
So that's our latest uh, chief. And here is another Ghanaian uh, community, basically. Like this canopy, I, I think it's has in, I don't know if a king or chief, basically, but the name is there on the, on the canopy. Um, you're going to see it in a minute, but I don't know if they are shanties, but uh, I shall know they're Ghanaian, basically. But there is like title holders, basically, uh, Nana Bari Makoto. If you know that, let me know in the comment section. But yeah, the Ghanaian community, the whole set, this whole session is to be some of the Ghanaian community rep represented. The why just they represented like an Igbo girl. Oh my goodness, that's like an Igbo asset. But yeah, the, the place is very big, like, like I said, different states have different canopies so let me take you through this session also just so you see what is happening here and then later we'll go to the main stage where the main yam cutting ceremony is going to take place where they're going to do like a whole yam cutting and then they bless the yam then people eat from it is a lot of things basically so you don't want to go anywhere if you're here you're still watching and you've not subscribed yet don't forget to like comment subscribe and yeah let's get on with the video Therefore, on an occasion like this, in our cultural diversity and as different communities, different faith. A little snack break, basically because I'm really hungry. I came straight from the shop to this place, which is why I'm not dressed in traditional attire. Number one, I didn't know it was going to be like a big event like this. I just wanted to be like, okay, I'm at the shop. Let me just go and see what is happening there. But yeah, we'll do a little snack break and then we'll get on with the rest of the video. I will take you back and show you every other thing happening here. But this is basically a sobolo and uh, yeah, I, th I, th I don't know if it was, I think it was samosa that I got, which turned out to be very nice. study it when I heard Kegai song. If you're a Nigerian that went to university in Nigeria, you know Kegai. They were in every or they are in every university you go to in Nigeria. It's like a they call them Kegai. They dance to it. I know that they sleep in the day in Nigeria. I was so happy. I was so good. I'm like Jesus Christ. Kegai time. Yeah. Like the group of young girls, students basically. That's the ones in university. They, they get together. Generation period. If you if you if you're an Nigerian that went to any university in Nigeria, you know them. So I know them from my university. I'm like, oh, this brings back a lot of amazing university uh, memories. So we're going to be here, basically jollying with the Kegite. I used to love them in school. Every day I go to school and I see Kegite performing, I will stand there and dance just you know have a good time with them but yeah that's the okay, guys community and now these are like uh, the original evil women this party that from different communities they have a lot of nigerian uh, meetings nigerian women have a lot of meetings where they have uh, car see i don't even know how many my mother is in so I, when i saw them wearing it i'm like ah this one is a meeting basically Very, very beautiful ladies and very lively and when basically and a typical Igbo woman or Igbo women, they are so gorgeous basically. Anyway, we are heading, there is a, a big group displaying behind them. That's a, I think a community in Nigeria, they came with them also, that basically displaying what's like the traditional festival, a typical Igbo. Anyway, let me, let me just take you there and go and show you. This is the... I want you Igbo community in Ghana. That's in Ghana, basically. Meaning a particular community. <laughs> oh, I should learn Igbo. Anyway, let's go. Let me show you what that what's happening. Due to support excel. You cosmos, what are you doing? I know your friend. 
Amaku I think you were a DJ walk it up up walk in here I can't go to the front everything I'm over for Jesus This place has some glory. No, you know. <laughs> but I don't know if these people they actually like have like what kids. I don't know. Like, see what they're doing, right? Oh, wait. Shifted to Taiwan. That is, uh, what are you in Ghana? A way more. That's a way more. Now you go. Alright. That was an error guy trying to flex his ego that he can't I don't even know if he knew what he was saying. I think Ewe Ibo. That was so funny. He was dressed like a full Ibo attire. I don't know why he knew what he was doing. It's very silent, Thank <laughs> you. 
And the power tapa is bad. That is how local Igbo power tapas they come from where they went to collect their drinks basically. Everything was basically represented here. Every part of the culture was being showcased. Every state, Anambra, Igbo, Enugu, Ebonyi, all the Igbo states basically they were here and after I get to talk to My Nigerian people, we are in Ghana to celebrate. Yam festival of the Igbos 
of the Igbos of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Good evening or good day, the people, good people of God. Today, we are celebrating Yam Festival in Diaspora, in the land of Ghana. And we are saying that, what a, first of all, thank the people of Ghana for the opportunity giving us to celebrate Yam Festival in Ghana. We also extend our greetings to the good people of Igbo and the good people of Nigeria at large. That we are happy here. So if they are not happy in Nigeria, that means there is a problem. So that means they should solve it. Nigeria deserves to be happy anywhere in the world. We are celebrating Ghan, uh, uh, Yam Festival in Ghana. Igbo community. Look at the unity. We are all friendly. So that should replicate itself in Nigeria. Be happy. Thank God for life. Tinibu, do the right thing. Yeah. And let the blessing flow. Let the will of God be upon you. Wisdom, knowledge, and stability. And good health, good life. Be on Tinibu to have the right direction. I love you, Tinibu. Do the right thing. And your ministers, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. They are not evil, if you, as you can tell from the accent. Already, one is a an job man, one is a new woman. So, of course, they are very hot. <laughs> Even the shaggy one, I see you that year. Anyway, these are all that you, but this is the outfit of the Abada, the Yoruba, Abada, and the talking drum players, basically, they are Yoruba. Like I said, different tribes in Nigeria. Like I said, yes, so not just the Yoruba. Yorubas are represented, the house has represented, and the man that does with the house is the house. Thank you! Thank you! We wanted to get a basha before the main yam cutting ceremony start, and this was the day I noticed that they were all. I was told there are like different abasha. This one is Enugu, or be Imo abasha. That Enugu abasha is different from Imo abasha and Anambra abasha. I don't know. They obviously there are other Igbo here trying. Joy wanted to get one. Only time for the yam cotton festival, the main, the main event of the day, basically. So we're going to go, we're going to cut the yam, do the whole blessing that they do when they're cutting the yam, and then we'll leave, basically. But this is another segment. This is a, a, a worship showing some people what they do. So let's go to the main stage where the main yam cotton is going to take place, just so we can see everything. It's time for cutting of the yam, guys. Like, this is why I came here. <laughs>
Of course, we are Nigerians. We're going to have a problem when you recognize or you don't recognize some other people. So basically, they were trying to recognize Imo Imo and the other people standing close to me. Like, ah, what about the other state? Enugu, Abia, Nambra, Emoi, all the Imo state. It's a long time. Anyway, the, the speaker was very far from us, so hopefully you're able to see here what they're saying. That's the guy on the shift, uh, on the pink attire, is the leader or Igwe of the Indigos in Ghana. They have like that their community. And then there is an imam standing close to him. And then the other side of the red cap sharing, there are politicians. That's Honorable Ikenka. They are all Honorable uh, Senators, as of right. So they need to take time to bless, cut the yam, eat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>